I think the most natural thing for me to collect is bags because it kind of correlates to what I do. So whenever I'm out and about like thrifting or even researching for work, it's always like find a couple for myself. Too many. Too many, yeah. <laughs> um, I design handbags for a quite large high street company here in San Francisco, Old Navy. <laughs> Gap in. <Inc. laughs> I think when I'm designing, I'm always kind of trying to think of how can someone use this in more than one way? So it's not just a frivolous item that's like, oh, well, this looks great. It's like, well, yeah, it looks great, but actually you can unzip this and do this or this flips around and then you can use it like this. So I think that's something that I always have in the back of my mind, like a multifunctionality. Well, up until this point, I'd kind of been consumed by wedding planning because we just got married. Through that, I taught myself to do calligraphy. So I think now that all of that's out the way, or over, focus on that during my downtime. The marriage is not over, yeah, just the The marriage wedding. isn't over, yeah. just, the, uh, <laughs> just the day. Just another creative output that there's not really any pressure to cre create a product. It's just kind of pen to paper, I guess the, even the movement of it, it's all just kind of free flowing and there's something quite satisfying about that. More chic than me. <laughs> I don't know if chic's the right word. I'm less chic. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a steady emo vibe. Um, even in like the past six months since we've moved out here, I'd say it's relaxed a lot more. And I think it's it is interesting to think that when you're located somewhere different, you kind of become acclimatized to what's around you, and you do kind of sink into that. I don't know. I haven't worn a sweatshirt in six months. I think there's a fundamental understanding of the creation of music and the creation of fashion, for some reason, this has always been that kind of union between designers and musicians, so... Well, the models and the musicians. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and funnily, I kind of feel like someone like Patti Smith, yeah. that's from the same era and is obviously more... Well, definitely leaning more towards the music end of the spectrum of music and fashion. I mean, she's kind of flipping between the two, but someone like her that it's just kind of got the nonchalant attitude of actually, I'm going to wear what, whatever I want. Other fashion icons, um, Linda Rodin, who's like of a different generation. She's a bit older, but she still rocks everything that she wears. She's really cool. And I think it's about how it makes you feel and the attitude that you kind of... When you, when you get dressed in the morning and you kind of walk out the door and you don't need to go back and look in the mirror five times and you're just comfortable in your own skin, I think that for me is good style. <laughs> <laughs>